Hello, good morning. This is Siva Devaki from uh, Mass Miller. Thank you so much for uh, joining the webinar today. Uh, today, I'm going to talk about a uh, very important topic uh, how to remove your IP address from uh, Gmail's uh, blacklist. I'm sure some of you must have experienced this before, or maybe uh, you're interested in knowing what it is all about. Uh, if you are a client of uh, Mass Mailer, uh, you are aware that you get a dedicated IP address from Mass Mailer, and which is used only by your company and no one else. So you are 100% responsible for the IP reputation and also your own domain reputation, of course. And how do you actually know that Gmail is blocking your uh, domain or IP address? You will come to know because you're running the campaigns and um, you will get so, some sort of responses for the email messages that you're sending, um, especially those are bounce messages. And if you carefully look at the reason that mass mailer populates into that uh, bounce uh, email status value, you would see you know, one of these two uh, messages from uh, Gmail, and this may vary, uh, but something like this, basically, saying that your IP address has uh, been blocked and you know, you're sending out unsolicited uh, email uh, from this IP address. And they'll provide some instructions on uh, what are the best ways uh, to really uh, follow when it comes to emailing. And uh, you know, obviously uh, you can um, get into more details on uh, what exactly has happened. Uh, but basically, uh, if at all you run into this issue, then uh, what do you really do, right? So that's the kind of a topic what we're gonna talk about today. And uh, first of all, we would really want to know why is Gmail blocking, you know, how is this email infrastructure really works and what does really Gmail do? Uh, as you know, Gmail is uh, obviously a very big organization and they have um, the G Suite uh, offering and also the personal Gmail offering. Uh, they're carefully watching uh, everyone who is sending out emails to um, the Gmail servers because they collect the data. Um, you know, whenever you're sending out an email from your business domain to any Gmail account, whether it's personal or business, Gmail has that uh, data with them. What kind of emails you're sending? Um, you know, is it a legitimate email or not? Is your infrastructure email infrastructure properly authenticated or whatnot? You know, there are many things that they, uh, Gmail actually takes, uh, take, uh, they, they uh, keep a note of it. And also they look at the behavior as well. You know, uh, how good or bad you are. You know, they have all the metrics with them, right? Uh, so there could be several reasons why Gmail is blocking your IP address. Um, it could be mainly uh, the behavior. So like, you know, how you're sending it, right? What you're sending, um, that all, uh, what matters, you know, end of the day. Uh, and of course, um, you want to make sure that uh, uh, certain infrastructure uh, things are properly set up. Uh, that's, uh, of, of course, is necessary. Um, but if you don't really change the behavior of uh, how you're sending out these emails, uh, it will be very difficult for you to actually remove the, the blocks. Uh, so basically, uh, you got to analyze various things. Let's take a look at a few reasons why Gmail may be blocking. Maybe you're sending out large emails of volume. Um, as we always recommend, if you're actually sending out large emails of volume, you should always get more IP addresses assigned and distribute uh, the volume across your IPs. Um, you know, ideally it should be um, at least four IPs is what personally, what I personally recommend for a million emails. Um, you know. Um, typically I've seen customers having two, uh, I would double it and make it four. Um, you know, that way you kind of reduce the overall email volume, um, that, uh, you can send out, uh, through your domain and IP. And also you should, uh, certainly have multiple domains to send out these emails, not just one domain, uh, especially if you're having, um, high volume. So you got to spread across various domains and various IP addresses, uh, that certainly uh, could be a big reason why uh, emails may be blocking because of the high volume and you're not following the best practices. 
Maybe the change is sudden, meaning you've been a low volume sender, all of a sudden you're like spiking up or sending out a large email volume, that could be the reason. So that's the reason why we always say that, hey, whenever you're getting a new IP and new domain, um, or you're just getting a new IP on the same domain, uh, you have to warm up your IP address. We do it um, you know, automatically, but you also have to do it manually too, because uh, sending out emails to your own contacts with low volume is the key. Uh, so you got to make sure that you got to follow the IP warm up best practices and don't just hike up your email volume. Maybe you have spam traps. You know, this is a killer. So nobody can really help you if you have spam trap addresses in your database. So you have to remove any spam traps that you identify. Otherwise, you will end up into, um, you know, big issues. Uh, so how do you identify these spam traps is, again, by cleaning up your database, mass mail or dust provide, email verify tool. Uh, it's easy to clean up uh, once for all and, you know, remove any spam traps that you may have in your database. That's going to be a big saver for you. Okay. And maybe you're sending out to people who you do not know. You know, they don't know your business. So you're just sending out unsolicited email and they're complaining about your emails about spam. Uh, that could be another big reason. So that's the reason why we always say hey, you got to have opt-in list, opt-in list, opt-in list. If you cannot have opt-in list, uh, at least you got to warm up those users. You know, some sort of a touch point you need to have with those users. Or you got to send low volume, you know, don't send high volume to unknown users. There are many ways you can actually have best practices. You know, we all understand that end of the day, you're trying to do prospecting um, uh, for your business. And, you know, uh, so, but you got to follow the best practices. So uh, sending out email, um, to un uh, sending out emails to unknown users is an, another key factor why, you're, uh, uh, why your emails are getting blocked by Gmail. And then uh, maybe there's some blacklist uh, organizations that are actually blacklisting your IP address that are legitimate uh, because they also think that you're a spammer and they're blacklisting your IP. So you got to check if your IP is on a blacklist. And as you know, MassMiller does provide email monitor tool through which you can identify if your IP is on a blacklist. And maybe some uh, users uh, who do not want to receive uh, emails from you are you know, flagging your email as spam. Uh, they're so annoyed that you know, they're just reporting um, that your email is a spam email. And that's a, a big reason why Gmail is blocking you as well. And maybe you just got a new IP address and it's not properly warmed up. Uh, again, with MassMailer, we always warm up for three months and we also recommend that you warm up your IP in the initial uh, few weeks. Uh, so you got to really follow the best practices for sure. Uh, maybe the infrastructure is missing, you know, I mean, whenever we onboard mass or client, we do uh, make sure that they have the proper DNS records. But sometimes if your IT is uh, making any changes, um, or some changes happen to your domain, and if you have incorrect uh, DNS records, that could be an issue as well. Uh, so it's again related to the authentication. So if you have, uh, if you do not have proper authentication, or maybe even if you have an authentication, it's failing. Uh, that could be uh, a big reason why Gmail could be blocking your IP address. Uh, so very important to make sure that you uh, do not um, have your IP on a blacklist. And some of the uh, well-known uh, blacklist uh, provided it here, Stam Hoss. Uh, so four of them I've listed. So if you are noticing that your IP is on this list, certainly Gmail is going to block. Uh, so the re remedy is that you got to go and request this, or, uh, this organization to remove your IP, uh, provided you're not, you're not being a spammer and you're not sending any spam. Uh, just provide them a genuine reason um, that you know, you're sending out legitimate email to the uh, known contacts, um, assuming it's true. And you know, they will listen to you, uh, but you have to change your behavior as well. They're going to make a watch on you, on your domain, and see how it is. Um, you know, performing um, in the next couple of weeks after you request for the removal, um, and then if you do not change the behavior again, they'll put you black, uh, put you back in the blacklist. So you really have to basically change the behavior uh, to remove your IP from the blacklist. So that's very important. And uh, authenticating your email, of course, we talked about it uh, in the previous webinars as well. Uh, so we always provide the DKM, SPF, DMARC records. So 
Uh, DKIM and SPF records are automatic for us. You know, we provide the uh, C names uh, for these. And DMARC, of course, if you do not have a DMARC, we do provide the DMARC as well for you. Um, and we also do the uh, reverse DNS for your IP, so for the dedicated IP that we provide to you. We always provide you a, a PTR record, meaning, um, you know, we give you a, a record, uh, which is again, a, a P, uh, reverse DNS records. Um, so because the IP is uh, secured from SendGrid. And um, uh, of course, that's uh, assigned to your domain, whitelisted for your domain, uh, but we'll provide you that uh, DNS record to authenticate. Uh, MassMinute does take care of all of this for you. Uh, so that should be uh, fine in any case. Um, end of the day, you got to really follow the best practices what Gmail uh, tells you to do. Otherwise, uh, you know, uh, whatever you do, Gmail is going to block you. Uh, you got to make sure um, that you're not having any links uh, uh, that are um, to links to the spammy sources uh, for sure. And your domain should be in a good reputation as well. Um, you uh, got to follow uh, Gmail sender guidelines, if at all you're sending out a large Gmail volume. Um, so it's easy to find Gmail sender guidelines. If you just Google, it'll pop up uh, the link. Uh, also, you could uh, you should certainly sign up for these two tools that we recommend, uh, the Gmail Postmaster tool, um, which provides uh, metrics on the reputation, spam rates, feedback loop, and other parameters. Uh, that can help you identify and fix delivery or spam filter issues. So Gmail postmaster tools, postmaster tools, you got to uh, certainly uh, subscribe to. Uh, just follow the link that is given here, uh, gmail.com forward slash postmaster. And also you should sign up uh, with uh, senderscore uh, .org. Uh, it can also provide uh, insights into your total, like overall email deliverability and email delivery as well. Um, that'll help you. So you basically have to follow the best practices. Um, you know, we talked about um, uh, email deliverability best practices many times in our webinars. You can always look up our uh, previous uh, webinar videos as well. Okay. And uh, let's say you get blacklisted. How do you get it off? Uh, how do you come out of it? You basically will have to follow everything that we mentioned before. Um, and um, you know, Gmail uh, should uh, remove your IP from the blacklist if you followed all the steps before, but if you still uh, did not hear from them, or if you still uh, think that it is still like getting blocked, uh, you should actually contact Gmail support. Uh, this is the form that we're given. Um, even if you just uh, Google it, you'll find this form, um, or else you can just type in this particular um, link and you'll find that form that you can fill up and uh, submit it. And uh, most of the answers should be, uh, you must answer no to most questions um, in that uh, form. Um, so if you answered yes to any of them, they'll tell you to wait. And then um, also they don't really send you any feedback once you submit this. Um, so you basically uh, will have to monitor uh, your uh, email delivery and um, you know make sure that you're not getting any uh, failures again. Um, you don't want to submit this form, um, um, you know, more than once every two weeks. Uh, so basically, don't submit this too many times. Uh, that will not really increase any response from them. Uh, you basically will have to fix uh, from your side, follow the best practices, and you know, monitor if you're getting any bounces and stuff like that. Um, so you got to uh, wait till you get a response. Um, and again. Um, you got to follow best practice and make sure that your domain reputation, IP reputation is increasing using that postmaster tools. Uh, so typically it takes a week. Uh, it may take more time sometimes, but typically it takes a week for them to actually uh, remove it um, from the blacklist. Okay. There's a reference link. Um, Rack ID uh, provide a great article, and that's what we uh, you know um, base this presentation. Uh, thanks to them. Um, and again, this is uh, a weekly webinar. Uh, so feel free to, again, join our webinar next week on Thursday. Uh, it's going to be 6 a.m. Uh, Hawaii time. Um, unlike today, I've done it a little late, 7 a.m., but usually it is 6 a.m. Hawaii time is when um, I do these webinars. I'm happy to uh, clarify any questions that you may have.
you can also uh, contact me. Here's my contact information and my email address, phone number, and company uh, information and company uh, email address. You can also um, contact us on our website as well. And if you're new to Mass Mailer, feel free to just get on a trial. Here's a link to get on a trial. So just go to our website and click on the free trial and uh, get going. And, and again, if you are new to our YouTube channel, I recommend that you go to YouTube and type in Mass Mailer and subscribe to our YouTube channel. And also uh, you can enable the notifications that way you know whenever there's a new video that comes up, um, you know, that way um, you can now watch uh, all our videos and uh, get to know more about Mass Mailer and email deliverability best practices. Once again, thank you so much for joining the webinar today. I look forward to uh, seeing you next week again on Thursday at uh, 6 a.m. Hawaii time. Thank you. Take care. Bye-bye. Have a good evening.